I am Anil Kumar. Let us learn the basics about exponents with the help of this worksheet. You need to evaluate all these expressions without calculator. You can pause the video, copy these questions, solve them, and then check with my solutions. The very first one is 2 cube. So when the power is 3, we could also call it cube. 2 cube really means 2 times 2 times 2, right? And that gives you the answer as 8. Now we have b, which is minus 3 square. So when the exponent is 2, you call it square, right? Now that really means minus. Minus is not squared, only 3 is squared. So it is 3 times 3. And that gives you the answer as minus 9. Now that could be a mistake. Many students sometimes do minus 3 times minus 3 and land up with wrong answer. So you have to be very careful. Correct? Now here we have minus 2 to the power of 4. Now since it is in the brackets, we mean here that you have to multiply by minus 2. Right? So it is minus 2 times minus 2 times minus 2 times minus 2. You get an idea, right? Now negative even number of times, 1, 2, 3, 4, will be positive. So you expect positive result. And 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16. So positive 16 is your answer. Correct? Now we have 2 to the power of 0. Now anything to the power of 0 is what? Very important to know. Anything to the power of 0 is just 1. So 2 to the power of 0 is 1 plus 2 cube, we just learned is 8. So I'll add 1 to 8 and get my answer as 3. 9, right? Which is 3 square. So 1 plus 8. Now we have minus 2 to the power of 10. Since the power is even, 10 is even number, we expect positive result, correct? Now 2 to the power of 10 is what? It's also called kilobytes, kilos, right? 10. The number I would like you to remember, 2 times 2 times 2, follow it 10 times. I mean, you get 1024 as your result. It's a good number to remember. 2 to the power of 10 is 1024. Now this minus is within the bracket and therefore we got positive answer. Important to know, correct? Now here we have 5 times 3 minus 2 whole cube. Applying the rules within the brackets we should do first, correct? So it would be 5 times. What is 3 minus 2? Just 1. Now we have to cube 1. 1 to the power of anything is just 1. So we get this as 5 times 1 which is 5. Now within this we have learned many more things. So we came across a term which is called cube. That is when exponent is 3. We also learned a term square. That is when exponent is 2. With these two examples. Correct? So this is the, the square example. And this is the cube example. Correct? What we also learned here is. If we have something like minus 1 to the power of even number, right, say, let's say, let's say 8, we'll get plus 1. But if we have minus 1 to the power of odd number, let's say 7, we get minus 1. Correct? So even and odd powers. And what else you learned here? In this example, you learn that any number, any number, right? So, any number n to the power of 0 is always equal to 1. And you learn that any number n to the power of 1 is n. So these are the learnings which we have already done in the six examples. Now we have two questions for you to solve. I like you to 
pause the video, answer these questions, correct? And then check with my solutions. So let me provide you solutions. Minus 2 square, so minus becomes positive, 2 square is 4, so we get this as 4 plus minus 2 cube. Now, since the power is odd, it has to be negative, right? And 2 cube is 8, so we get this as minus 8. So our answer is going to be what? It is going to be negative 4. So review integers. Now the last question here is to tell you that this minus is not squared. Minus 3 square plus minus 2 whole cube. Now this is, treat this as a test question, correct? So let me make a star here. Treat this as a test question. If you get it right, that means you have learned most of the concepts which we are talking about in our worksheet 1. And then do worksheet 2. So minus is outside, so it remains negative. 3 square is 9. Correct? We did this. Minus 3 square is minus 9. Plus minus 2 q. We just learned here. Minus power odd means it becomes negative. Right? So minus 8. So both negative. When you add, you get more negative. So the answer is minus 70. Correct? So I hope that brings you all what you've learned about integers also into practice. Feel free to write your comments and share your views and if you're comfortable with this worksheet, move ahead with our worksheet number two. Thanks for watching and all the best.